My name is Joko and in today's video we will talk about how you can set up emergency triangles in an emergency situation. You have to have either emergency triangles or flares in your truck uh, at all times. The first thing you gotta do is don't panic. I will do these demonstrations with a bobtail uh, truck only because we don't have any uh, trailers available at the moment but this will apply to even if you have only a bobtail if you're driving you know bobtail and something happens or even if you're driving hooked to a trailer and driving down the road. We will take a look at three different scenarios. We'll take a look at how you position your triangles on a two-lane road, divided highway, and we'll take a look at a road where, you know, visibility is poor and where other motorists cannot see you from far away that you have pulled over. Hey, real quick, 99% of you are not subscribed, so I'll just ask you to hit that like and subscribe button below if you like these types of videos and enjoy our content. Now back to the video. If you notice something wrong with the engine or you know you hear a weird sound start looking for a safe place to pull over once you found a safe place to pull over stop pull your brakes put your truck in neutral and listen for a moment many times if you hear sounds coming from the engine compartment it is a smart idea to turn off your engine so once you have your engine turned off just listen be quiet many times in many situations you will be able to hear uh, and locate where the problem is just by listening if you don't hear anything it is time for you to go around and check and see where the problem might be but before you go out make sure that you have your safety vest on if you are stopped on a narrow road and there's traffic passing by make sure that traffic is cleared before you jump out and you know in a moving lane of traffic don't get yourself killed. So once you make sure that everything is clear, then you can step outside. As I'm stepping outside, I'm keeping an eye on traffic. Be careful when you are out on the road so that you don't get hit by a vehicle. The first thing you wanna do once you are safe is you want to check if everything is okay with the uh, engine compartment so you pop the hood. So you might be wondering, what should I look for once I pop the hood? Well, it's simple. You want to look for loose hoses. Keep an eye out for any leaks around the radiator fan, radiator, coolant levels, your rubber hoses. Make sure that you don't have any leaks of uh, coolant of, uh, all over your engine, because if you have a coolant leak, you will notice. And typically you can also see where it's coming from, but that's not always the case. So like I said, listen, and when you're outside, smell. Once you check one side, check your brakes, make sure that there is nothing wrong with the brakes, everything is tight. So now you wanna go to the other side and do the same thing. And again, on this side, what you wanna do is check your coolant level, check this side of the engine if you have uh, any leaks, oil, coolant, anything that you know that shouldn't be there if like i said the problem is coming from the engine compartment everything seems to be okay with the engine so now what we want to do is we want to walk around the vehicle and see where the problem might be coming from and remember listen and smell put our gear guard up and we want to look around the vehicle you know look from underneath maybe you hit something maybe something hit you you never know listen and smell Look at your tires, make sure that you got nothing stuck in your tires. Uh, like I said, I've had airbags blow on me before. If you haven't blown airbag, the hissing sound from the air, you will actually hear it and you will know exactly from which airbag it's coming from. Now we want to focus on where the problem is coming from. Check underneath, make sure that there is no oil, fuel, coolant leaking on the floor. So let's say now we have located our problem, which would be, let's say, a blown tire. In that case, we need to have either road service come out and fix it. So what you wanna do next is set up your triangles. You want to get your triangles, and usually they are either on the passenger side of the truck, or it depends on with every driver where they keep them. In this particular truck, our triangles are in this compartment right here. So we want to get our triangles out. Keep that closed so that it's not sticking out and potentially hitting a vehicle. If you are in a busy highway, vehicles will be passing by with 65, 70, 75 miles an hour. That is a scary situation. You don't want to get hit. All right, once you have your triangles, take them out, set them up. Pretty straightforward how you set them up. You wanna make sure that you don't break them. Like I'm about to. 
close the box and put it back uh, in the compartment so you don't lose it or so that the wind doesn't blow it away. Put it back. And now it's time to set the triangles. And here is a short animation of how you can place them correctly. In an emergency situation on a two lane road, pull over to the side as much as you can and wait for traffic to clear before placing any triangles. Once traffic has cleared, place your first triangle 100 feet in front of your truck, one triangle 10 feet behind and a third 100 feet behind your truck. And remember, never stop in a moving lane of traffic. In an emergency situation on a two lane road with an obstructed view, whether it is curves or a hill, pull over to the side as much as possible. Place one triangle at 10 feet behind your truck, a second one between 100 and 500 feet, depending on your situation, and a third one at 100 feet in front of the truck. And remember, never stop in a moving lane of traffic. In an emergency situation on a divided highway, pull over to the shoulder and place one triangle at 10 feet in front of the truck, a second triangle 100 feet behind the truck, and a third triangle 200 feet behind the truck, and then you may wait for help to arrive and address the problem. And remember, never stop in a moving lane of traffic. Now, you could set up the triangles in a linear way, one behind another, but what I would recommend is stacking them up so that they are leading vehicles away from the back of our vehicle as if they were about to merge in the left lane. So both ways are correct. Just make sure that you are not walking in the lane of traffic and that when you set up your emergency triangles that they are not blown away by the wind, that they are sturdy and that they are not obstructed by anything so that other motorists can actually see that you're stranded out. Okay, so once we have set up our triangles, what we want to do is we want to come back to our vehicle and stay in the vehicle until help arrives. Important thing is don't panic. Whatever the problem is, do not panic. We have at this point uh, located the problem. We know what the problem is. In our example, it would be a blown tire. So we can go ahead and call dispatch right now, not before we have located the problem. Like I said, important thing is stay calm, call dispatch, let them know what the issue is and uh, work with them on how to resolve it. We know that our problem is not with the engine, so if it's cold or hot and you wanna turn the engine back on, please go ahead and do so. But if the problem was with the engine, say you were missing coolants or you know oil or whatever the issue is that was you know part of the engine, please do not turn back your engine on. I mean, it goes without saying, it's common sense, but yet in a situation, an emergency situation, we need to be reminded of that. So please remember, if there's anything wrong with your engine, do not turn it back on. You don't want to cause any more issues that they already have been created. That's why it's important for you to carry the proper clothing with you, blankets, whatever you need uh, here in the truck at all times, so that if it's cold outside, you can use the proper clothing, blankets. If it's hot outside, just pop open the windows and you know let some air come in. Oh, and before I forget, once help arrives, make sure that you collect your emergency triangles again so that, you know, you don't have to buy new ones. If you're out and about, you will face issues. Whenever you have an issue, you need to make sure that you are safely pulling over out of the lane of traffic so that you don't get hit. When you step out of your vehicle, please make sure that you have a safety vest on so that, you know, other motorists can see you. If it's at night, carry a flashlight, a torch, whatever. Place your triangles as we have discussed in this video. Just go back in your truck and wait for help to arrive. These are videos for individuals that are either just starting out or that have been in the industry for not that long and don't really know how to act and what to do in an emergency situation or especially, you know, how to place the emergency triangles. I know from my experience, I didn't know where and how I needed to set up emergency triangles. I had actually found myself in uh, quite a few situations, blown tires, hitting deer, blown airbag, radiator fan flew in my engine. In a couple situations, I've even called uh, local police enforcement so they can help me with traffic control. But I didn't know how to set up the triangles, so I just placed them whatever behind the vehicle and I didn't even know what in intervals and so on. The whole point of the triangles is to keep you and your vehicle safe from other motorists so that they can see you and that you need to wait for help. If you know somebody that is you know in need of such a tutorial if you may please go ahead and share that video with them. Uh, hit the like and subscribe button below it actually means a lot to us it might be nothing for you but it means a lot to us because it tells us that we are doing a good job and that's your way of supporting us as well so we we truly appreciate it 
Uh, we recently hit a thousand subscribers and we want to thank you for that. Uh, it actually means a lot. As Like I said, uh, it's, it's a huge accomplishment and we're looking for, you know, growing this community and our YouTube channel much bigger so that we can help other drivers out there uh, and provide you interesting tips and tricks. Thank you and I'll see you in the next one.